Here's a color change. It's going from yellow to black. I'm going to show you how I pull the uh, plastic parts off of. Um, again, this is ABS plastic parts that are on a PET tape that has um, some ABS juice. It helps it to really stick on very good. Gives you much better parts, but uh, bad news is it's a little bit harder to get them off. Uh, down in the corner you see that uh, here's a little piece of ABS that uh, I use the nozzle and the glass plate here as a wipe function when the uh, uh, nozzle goes past it it's so low that it actually kicks off any extra extrusion that I have uh, prior to printing so that I get cleaner print. Uh, normally uh, I'll go through and uh, try and pre-loosen a little bit of it by uh, putting some pressure and you can hear it crack that's actually not the glass that's just the bond between the ABS and uh, the uh, surface of the PET tape so yeah, you see this part actually just popped right off by doing that. And do it pretty much on all four sides usually. If I have trouble, there's three sides. Let's see if we can get it. So usually I just kind of like pinch them a little bit and they come right off. So it's kind of nice that way. Once in a while I'll actually, most of the time I'll actually cool them where that they are actually vertical like this. And by cooling it that way, then I don't actually have to worry too much about um, the parts and sometimes they'll just actually break free themselves as they cool. Anyway, let's pull the rest of these off. That one's a little harder. and See, it's a pretty good bond. Uh, they make very, very flat parts. That one came off much easier than I expected. And I'm not actually touching inside the area that I use to print all the time. I don't print um, partial beds like this um, unless I'm actually printing custom colors. I had a couple of people that ordered um, uh, mixed uh, colored parts so that uh, they start off uh, yellow and then end up black on this one. Start off black and end up yellow on this one. By the time you get done, you get a very, very colorful printer that looks very nice. So anyway, here's the last piece. I'm using hemostats just because they actually fit in. You can also use uh, just regular needle nose pliers. They work out pretty good too. And the last piece is uh, the outline that I usually print. Gets rid of all the gunk that's already in the extruder nozzle that's, you know, not really great material to start a print off with. And it comes right off.